internet world to Edo world, where we piece terrible turds that turn them into fountains of Minecraftable gold. Today we'll be looking at Dragon Age 2, but before we start, no, I will not be done and buying Dragon Age 3 until I know it's good. I won't fall into that trap ever again, oh no, as Admiral Akbar says. It's a trap! Before we delve into the shit turd, this isn't a review. I just wanted to make that clear before anyone sits there and tries to correct the video about how I just fixed the story. First off, to easily fix this clusterfuck of a plot, there will be no Kunari side of the story. To streamline and focus the story, the main plot will be the mages and the chantry. The Kunari, I'd say, we can make an expansion so we can focus the story better too. It's easier when you're focusing on one thing instead of a shit ton of things that don't even intersect. We begin the story of Dragon Age in my version. As young child hack, I can think of several other successful games that have done this before. Notably Fallout 3 and the Fable series. Well, not that one. We don't talk about that one. Young child hack makes it easy for us, the player, to connect to the world and the people around us. To give impact when shit does hit the fan later. Young child hack can provide us a tutorial mode, much like Fallout 3. You will crawl alongside your siblings and your family, and from what I understand of the Dragon Age lore, the story of Hawk happens somewhere after DOAO. So a rogue of the Darkspawn attack your family. As you know, sporting the look of Hawk you designed, running from the Darkspawn, you can meet all those other people you meet along the way. It wasn't like I didn't like them, just kind of forgettable. You and Forgettable fight alongside each other against Darkspawn. Everything from here can stay the same. But at least this time when a sibling that doesn't pertain to the story kicks the bucket, you actually fear to feel a tear trying to escape your eye. You grew up with them. You did stuff together. Well, at least in this version. That's when you flee into the city, and that begins your journey of prejudice, chantry, and mages. Although I'm fixing the plot, we don't have other cities, and well, not such crappy map design in this one. We'll just pretend we have various wide open sandbox like environments. At the city gate, when you and your family meet with the chantry, instead of that other forgettable fuck guarding the door, now, either you or your siblings are a mage, and this is where we can start to feel some conflict. Having a chantry guard go, I'm not so keen on bringing mages into the city, seeing as your refugees and aided one of our own will grant you access, but hear me out, I warn you right now. You make trouble any city movement, and you'll have to deal with the chantry. The dialogue system can stay the same, and again, good and neutral. Oh, and while I'm on the topic of chantry, just before I get something, no one in Dragon Age Origin should even be present in this game. Leave the dark hair pixie cut girl in, but not that other chantry redhead. I cannot remember her name. That fucks with the player's contingency on the story when dead bodies are coming up like zombies. But I digress. So you and your family settle into the town, and after some time has passed, it's fine if you meet the dwarf. He could be the middle guy between the chantry, all up in your business, and you developing who you are. With dwarfy, you could do some side quests to make money, which is a good time to introduce one of the two not Andrew mages. These mages will be mages that will follow you through the story, but none as party characters. Two side quest mages you learn to love and get to know. Because we actually need to sympathize with mages. Astonishing what character development does instead of sticking your ass in every rabbit plot hole you can. Oh dear, look at the time. I'm late. I'm not finishing this line. Who even wrote this? Well, Interworlds, I'll continue this with a part two video. There's a thumbs up button you can use if you like this video. And if you really liked it, there's a subscribe button down below too. For now, I must punish other video games for not having the decency to come fully clothed. <laughs>